Hi, welcome to another episode of Paul on Power, PSD TV's talk show on uh, power engineering and power design. I'm your host, Alex Paul, and I'm very lucky to have Balu Balakrishnan. He's the uh, CEO of Power Integrations, and well, we're going to talk about power. Isn't that a lovely subject? Yes, it is. It's uh, a subject that's becoming more and more important by the day. Uh, you can see, you know, this show, this trade show, is getting much bigger. It used to be much smaller just a few years ago. So the whole world is going towards power. Everything we do to uh, improve the environment relates to power. So uh, power you know, conversion, doing it efficiently, is, uh, is important for the environment. It also improves our lives. You know, we have electric cars and, and so on and so forth. Right, well, you know, no electronics without electricity. I mean, the bottom line everybody forgets is that power is ubiquitous. Nothing happens without power. That's right. You know, anything that plugs into the wall or the grid needs power. And if it needs power, it can use one of our devices. That's why we're in this business. Hey, well, that's true. Now, speaking of the grid, there's a lot going on with the smart grid, right? Absolutely. There is a lot going on in the power generation side, which is uh, renewables, uh, like solar and uh, wind. And then there is uh, going, a lot of going, this stuff going on in the transmission side, where DC transmission is becoming more and more important because of higher efficiency. Until very recently, you couldn't do that because converting from AC to DC and back to AC was very expensive to do. But with uh, all the electronics that's available now, especially IGBD switches and the drivers that drive them, which by the way we provide, uh, the, the high voltage DC transmission is becoming very, very common. In fact, most of the new installations are high voltage DC to, to improve the efficiency or for the same transmission system, you can deliver a lot more power. Are there any implementation challenges in that? Absolutely, because they typically run somewhere between 300 to 600 kV. So you can imagine if you, if you have to support that kind of a voltage, you need banks of switches. Uh, typically there are 3,300 volt switches, so you need a lot of switches in series for the voltage, and you need a lot of switches in parallel for the current. Uh, typically this is like a gigawatt uh, is a typical power level that you're converting on both sides of the transmission line. So it takes a lot of switches and you need a very, very uh, reliable uh, driver. Because you can imagine if any one of these switches uh, go down or you blow up, the whole transmission system comes down. We don't want that. We don't want that, yeah. And we don't want them blowing either. They blow very spectacularly when they do that. These are, like we call them towers, you know, they're huge uh, installations. Well, you know, and uh, catastrophic failure may sound like an interesting thing, but it's not really pretty to see. Not at all. In fact, uh, if you go to our lab, I think you've been to our ENSA lab, and you notice that uh, when there is a test going on, nobody's near it. It's all, we only watch it through a video uh, because it, it's pretty dangerous. I mean, if it blows, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, catastrophic. Well, and that's actually a very comprehensive facility you have there in Germany. Yes. In fact, uh, as far as I know, we are the only independent uh, company that has uh, the facility to run an inverter continuously. Uh, we have what's called a ring inverter because you have to do something with the power you generate so we feed it back and even then the losses alone are so high we need liquid cooling and that uh, you know all of the heat has to be removed from the building so it's a pretty uh, significant installation and our customers come to our facility and use it and you know the equipment is so big you actually have to bring a truck into the parking lot and we have actually opened up a big uh, you know you know a door like a bay bay so that you can bring the equipment in and test it uh, and we can test it at uh, three megawatts continuously wow now i see you have here the uh, late one of your latest InnoSwitch devices can you tell us a little bit about this well InnoSwitch is the first device that integrates not only the high voltage side but also the low voltage side of a power supply into a single package and in addition to that, it has the high-speed uh, communication link that's proprietary to, to us. It uses what's known as FluxLink. And the beauty of that is the FluxLink is so precise in timing that we can control a synchronous rectifier on the secondary and the primary switch in a way that we optimize the efficiency. In fact, this is the most efficient uh, flyback uh, you know, solution there is today. We call it the ultimate flyback. Wow, that's why the ultimate flyback. That's a great name. Yeah. Now, um, what kind of support do you offer the engineering community? I, you understand you have the test facilities and all that other, but obviously this is it's not something you just slap it against the wall or whatever. It involves design in it. It involves a lot of engineering work. How much support do you provide your customers for that? 
Well, we need to provide a lot of support because, uh, you know, power, as you know, is very analog in nature. Uh, and every component that we use, especially the transformers and inductors, are very non-ideal. So we have to provide sufficient help either through a tool. We have a tool called PI Expert. And people can go log on the web and uh, just put what they want on the output and what they have on the input. It will actually generate the entire schematic, a transformer design. And you can actually press a button and send the transformer design to a transformer vendor and have uh, you know, at least samples delivered to you so that you can build a power supply and have it work the first time. Uh, that's quite empowering, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, um, as far as that goes, what, are the, what other advances do you see that need to be made in the smart grid space? What things are you doing to address that? Where do you see it going? Well, first of all, we address the entire range of power from milliwatts to megawatts. And as I said, many of our uh, applications are at the gigawatt level for the high voltage DC transmission. So uh, about one kilowatt and below, uh, we provide a fully integrated solution with the switches and everything in there because that's usually a MOSFET based switch. But once you go above one kilowatt, it's usually a IGBT. And that comes in a module and we provide the control for it. So below one kilowatt, we provide the switch and the control. Above one kilowatt, we provide the control, that's the drivers, the IGBT drivers, but the switches you buy from somebody else, like uh, you know Mitsubishi or Infineon or one of, one of those guys. And so this way, we're able to serve the entire power market from, from you know, zero to a gigawatt. Very nice, very nice. Now, is there anything else in this space that you'd like to let our audience know about before we close out the episode? Absolutely. I'd like to talk about our latest product, which is introduced today. Right. It is a 900-volt Inno switch. We talked about the Inno switch. And now we have developed a 900-volt process that allows people to use this product in applications where you need the higher voltage to withstand transients. One example of that is a meter. The meter is permanently connected to the grid. So there is no such thing as uh, you know shutting it down or removing it or right. when there is a lightning or uh, some other type of transient. So these applications require higher voltage. So we had a lot of requests from customers. So we provide a 900 volt uh, inner switch. But the same inner switch can also be used in applications where uh, a product is hardwired into the building. Like for example, an appliance, like an oven, it's hardwired. And there are two reasons why you, why you need higher voltage in a hardwired uh, product. Is big. One is you can still get transients. The number two uh, is that uh, it can be wired wrong. It's not uncommon when they install something, they can wire the phases wrong or the neutral can get disconnected either uh, during installation or even after installation if there is uh, some kind of corrosion, the neutral gets disconnected, you can get very high voltages. Under those conditions, you don't want your product dying on you because it's, again, permanently connected to the grid. So this, what this does is it will survive this condition and detect that condition, and uh, there will be a microcontroller in the product that will say, hey, you know, there is something wrong. You're getting full, too high a voltage, but it won't die on you. Got it, got it, got it. Well, that's very impressive because, well, as you point out, it's a permanent installation. There's not what you can do if something goes wrong. Exactly. So... Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Is there anything else you wanted to leave our audience with before we closed out the episode? Yes, I just want to talk a little bit more about InnoSwitch, if you don't mind. Sure. Because we think it's, uh, it is a very significant innovation, not just for our company, for the whole industry. Because many people have tried to combine the primary and secondary side together, but they have, uh, have a dif difficulty getting safety approvals. So we found a very clever way to do that, that meets safety requirements around the world and provides a level of integration that has never been possible in the past. And also a level of performance that's not been possible in the past. Well, that's very uh, excellent claims to make. Thank you. So, thank you very much in taking the time to be with us. It was really great to have you, and I hopefully bring you back on for another show sometime. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. All the pleasure is mine. And I'd like to thank everybody out there in the audience for taking the time to be with us. We wouldn't be here without you. Tell your friends. This is Alex Paul for Paul Tom Power. Have a great day.